A small stone is projected with speed 65 meters per second from a point O at the top of a vertical cliff. Point O is 70 meters above point N and point N is on horizontal ground. The stone is projected at angle alpha above the horizontal where tan alpha is 5 twelfths. So tan alpha is 5 twelfths. So if alpha is in here, this is a right angle. So tan alpha is toa opposite over adjacent. This is a Pythagoras triple. It's 5, 12, 13 triangle. So we can, we know what cos alpha is, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. And sine alpha is opposite over hypotenuse. The stone hits the ground at point A. The stone is modelled as a particle moving freely under gravity. And we're using acceleration due to gravity as 10 metres per second squared. Find the time taken for the stone to travel from O to A. So we've got a projectile. We can split this up into a horizontal motion and a vertical motion. So horizontally, we've got SUVAT. So U is 65 cos alpha. V will be the same. It's got no acceleration horizontally. And that is all we know. So we're looking for the time. We just call that T. We don't know how far it went. We don't know the distance. So that's everything horizontally. Vertically. The distance we know is minus 70. It's going down 70 meters. The initial velocity is 65 sine alpha. We don't know the final velocity. We know the acceleration due to gravity. We're using 10 meters per second and we're working out the time. So just from the vertical motion, we can use S equals UT plus half AT squared. So the one without Ving it. S equals UT plus half AT squared. So negative 70 is equal to 65 sine alpha. Sine alpha is 5 thirteenths, which is a nice number. T plus half a t squared. So negative 70 is 5 thirteenths times 65, which is 25. 25 t minus 5 t squared. So we've got a quadratic to solve. Let's make it equal to zero. So we've got 5t squared minus 25t minus 70 equals zero. So we could just type this in our calculator, but if we divide it by five, we can make it a lot simpler and it will factorize. So you can just type this in the calculator, but it's minus seven and plus 2. So t equals 7 or t equals negative 2. It can't equal negative 2. So t must be 7. 7 seconds. Find the speed of the stone the instant it hits the ground at A. So we need the final velocity horizontally and vertically we've got it we've got the velocity horizontally 
65 cos alpha. We need to find it vertically. So V equals U plus AT. If we do V equals U plus AT. So U was 65 sine alpha, which was 25. So 25, A was negative 10, time was 7. So 25 take away 70, I should be using a calculator, negative 45. So we've got down 45, going to draw that slightly differently. So I've got down 45, across I've got 65 cos alpha, so 12 thirteenths of 65. And we want to know the speed, which is like the hypotenuse. So 12 thirteenths of 65 is 60. So that's 60. So I've got 60 squared plus 45 squared square rooted for the speed. Sixty squared plus forty five squared. Seventy five. So it's seventy five meters per second. One limitation of the model is that it ignores air resistance. State one other limitation of the model that could affect the reliability of your answers. So we could pick up a modeling assumption. We could say it's been modeled as a particle. So we're ignoring the dimensions, ignoring the size of the um, stone. But we could also use this. The acceleration has been used as 10 acceleration due to gravity and we can use a more accurate value. So you can just say we could use a more accurate value for G.